Jornay Clark is a lifeguard instructor at VCU. She says her everyday commute is a quick and easy 15 minute ride. I kind of use it to get everywhere around the shore. From Shaka to campus, sometimes all the way to like Willow Lawn. Richmonders took over 9 million trips between GRTC's fixed routes, Pulse, and Express routes last year. While many riders take the bus to navigate around downtown, GRTC is expanding further into the counties with brand new routes. You can now take bus 1A all the way out to Chesterfield Town Center, which is about a 30 minute ride from downtown. This provides people with new access to jobs and workplaces with new access to customers. GRTC spokesman Henry Benden says more routes like 1A are en route. You can take the one to Azalea and hop on Link and go to Mechanicsville. Well, we're going to try and do that with even more places so that we, people can keep finding service wherever they are and wherever they go, really expanding what it means to be able to get around, you know, for everyone. When changes are made to the bus service, who should GRTC keep in mind? Clark remembers when the Pulse bus cost one fifty a ride. Then they'll worry for certain people of, like, worrying about having the money to be able to catch the bus to get to go to work to make more money, you know what I mean? 71% of riders come from households making less than 40 k a year. Overwhelmingly, our riders are essential workers, and fundamentally, what we want to do is provide the best possible service for the people that are on the bus. GRTC has committed to finding new sources of funding to keep its buses fare-free. We are going to find ways to fund it for next year. We are not giving up on this. This is a feature of the system. Despite its challenges, the GRTC is moving ahead in 2024 with free fares, GRTC Link, a second pulse, and service improvements on existing routes. Reporting for VCU Insight and the newsroom at VCU, I'm Jimmy Sidney.